Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. We gotta head back to the agency. The gang's all here. We're all together again. So we gotta, we gotta, you know, reconvene. Talk about what we're doing next. How the fuck we're gonna not uh, piss off Yomi Hellsmile to where he's just going to, I don't know, he shot a fucking, what, a torpedo at us last time? Is the is the next one a missile? Uh, maybe like a, maybe, maybe like a, like a nuke? I don't know. Like what, what's, what's next on the list? Is he just gonna show up with like a grenade launcher? And just start going -dunk, ka -dunk. like who could say really seems like a lot has happened since we first met the look on your face has changed did you get taller uh i don't believe i got taller but i'd like to believe i did uh i doubt i could grow taller in such a short time but a lot has happened like i grew um... taller are you really the CEO of Amaterasu, sir? No need for formalities. Call me Makoto. And yes, it's true. That means you're the top-ranking person at Amaterasu Corporation, right? I guess you could put it that way. I thought he worked there, but who could have guessed he was so high up the ladder? I mean, he lives at the top of the fucking tower, right? Like, I knew he was going to be pretty damn important. You said you wanted to stop the peacekeepers, but don't you have the authority to dismiss them yourself? A company isn't that simple. One careless act, and I'd be the one dismissed. The power in Amaterasu Corporation is currently imbalanced and very fragile. At this rate, it won't be long until they control everything, besides me. I see. If you want to strike the peacekeepers, you must gather all the firepower you can and take them out in a single shot. I like that. So that. That sounds great. Let's do that. Anything less will be like cutting off a lizard's tail. Yomi is the peacekeeper's heart and brain. He'll be unscathed. So we go for Yomi. If I could gather evidence of his evil actions, I'd declare his exile publicly for the world to see. In any case, you can speak to me when you require help. I'll run to your aid with my awesome hot air balloon. Or shall I say fly? <laughs> Yo, Makoto's great. This is my homeboy. What a dude. The peacekeepers may have me beat in numbers, but my love for Kanai Ward rivals them. R right. What happened to his hot air balloon? Where did that go? Well, I'll excuse myself now. Oh, okay. But, hey, hold on. There's still more we need to go over. I'm sorry, but it's time for prayer. I pray for Kanai Ward's peace across all districts. Oh, I, I see. I pray each hour of the day, so I am rather busy. I must hurry back. Uh, uh sure. Oh, he doesn't intend on taking us seriously. Yeah, but like, I imagine he's got important shit going on, right? Like, the CEO of a company that literally controls an entire city. Homeboy here's probably got some obligations. <sighs> or he actually prays uh, every hour. I don't know, maybe. Oh, by the way, you should check out where your agency used to be. Huh? Why? It's a surprise. Oh. What, do you mean the abandoned building? Sounds or the submarine? Shady, but I guess I can play along. We have nowhere to go right now anyway. Did he did he refurbish the agency? Is it back open? That'd be so cool. That would be super exciting. I'd be all about that. Oh, parkour is popular among the young men of Kamasaki District. <laughs> of course. We have a new submarine! Yo, that's awesome! Are you kidding me? It's completely back to normal. Is this the CEO's true power? His cursed powers have come to the submarine. <laughs> Whoa! My agency! My, my, my... I can't be genuinely happy about this. It may be bug to eavesdrop on us. That is a fair point. But, hear me out, we could just go and try to try to clear it. Is my beautiful bed of peace and quiet still there? Is his fireplace still there? This is important. If not, then let me die. 
It's okay, Vivia. We're gonna get you your fireplace. I, man, I saw this loading screen tip about homunculus, and I was like, I forgot that was like a thing that we dealt with in this game. Uh, allegedly, I'm still yet to see anything about it whatsoever. Maybe Makoto's a homunculus. That's why he hides his face. I don't know. That'd be crazy, but pretty sick. Be kind of all about it. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be like really cool. Wait, when did you get here, ma'am? Chief, there's a letter here. Looks like it's from Makoto. Let's see what it says. To the detectives at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. This is my gift to you for solving this case. It is proper payment for your work, so please accept it. Also, I so I thought he just rebuilt us a submarine like the one we had. No, this is our submarine rebuilt, even down to all of the possessions inside. Like, how did he get these papers back? Did he recreate them? Like, cause uh, you know, when the submarine sank, they would have gotten soaked. Like, hold on, in the books the and shit. The souls of Kanai Ward's residents are with you. Their war carries on. Maybe he did conjure it with magic. I have high hopes for you all. From the highest point in Kanai Ward, with love, Makoto Kagutsuchi. High hopes. Why would the CEO of Amaterasu say that about us? Probably because he doesn't like the peacekeepers either and they're ruining his city. I, that would be my guess. Well, he did ask us to accept this, so I guess we'll take the submarine. He must be planning to manipulate us in the power struggle for the company. Ugh, this will come at a high price. Yeah, but I mean, he seems like he's on the same side as us right now, right? Also, he had an odd face for someone who is supposedly a CEO. Fubuki, have you seen a CEO before? No, that was clearly a mask. <laughs> no, he just had a weird looking face. That's what they all look a like. Mask? What is that? Oh, God. Where do I even begin? Yuma, you take care what of this. What the fuck, guy? Like, <laughs> me? I'll explain it. Fubuki, so a mask. <laughs> Yes. He's so excited back there. Wait, why did you follow us here? Don't you know this is our top secret detective agency? Yako, we kind of just let it. That's what I was saying. I was like, we just let her waltz in. Everyone's like, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Don't sweat the small stuff. Besides, an informant is practically a detective anyway. That is not true. <laughs> that is just not true. Right, Yuma? Uh, no, but I guess. I don't know, man. Huh? Uh, what am I supposed um, to say in this situation? Are you supposed to lie in this situation? Is that how that works? You're supposed to be like, yeah, totally. <laughs> I, I guess. I don't know. You gotta be kidding me. You two still have the hearts for each other. Well, I guess it's fine. I support you. You're a fully Desuhiko approved couple. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. You're really helping things out right now, too. I'm sure any couple would love to hear from the creepy weirdo of the group that he approves of them. I'm sure, and it, 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 what a relief, really. Like, oh my God, I was so concerned, so worried. Wait, a couple? Can we not, like, come on. I won't allow it. Master is far too young for this. Honestly, fairly true. I don't know how old uh, Yuma is. He doesn't look very old though. What is going on? Yeah, that's my boy. Uh. Um, hold on a minute. Oh, I just remember. I thought he was looking at Shinigami. When I was watching from above, a resident said something that was rather concerning. You said above again. What does that even mean? Sorry, Yuma. I'm so tired. I don't want to talk more than I need to. Okay, fair. All right. Let's focus on the important information. What did you hear that concerned you? It's about that homunculus research. That's pretty important. We should we should know about that. That's a good one. Anyway, Vivia, you want to talk about this, what or? Information he got. Anyway, let's speak with Vivia. 
The resident is an old man. He used to work for Amaterasu Corporation. According to him, something happened 10 years ago. Is that Margolo? Amaterasu set up a secret lab somewhere in Kanai Ward to conduct their homunculus research. That lab still exists somewhere. A secret lab for homunculus research? That sounds super shady. It's exactly what we're looking for. Looks like we need to search for that lab to figure out Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Very well. I shall personally go and find this secret lab. Thank God, she'll find it for sure. 100%. I'll help too. After all, I am Kanai Ward's greatest informant. You're the... Krimi, you're the only informant. You're the, you're the only... Only one. Like, you, you could just... Never mind. Never mind. Uh, all right. All right. Kurumi... I need you to keep the reins on Yuma so he doesn't get in trouble again. What the fuck, Yako? This is so fucked up. What do you mean? It's not his fault he got blamed for, he got set up to be a terrorist. He literally got kidnapped. You can't even say like, oh, well, Yuma went and sought out the resistance. No, they literally drove up in a van, just grabbed him and took him along. Like there was nothing Yuma could have done to avoid that situation. Oh, what, why is everyone giving him so much shit for it? <laughs> you got it. Now, let's go investigate. Please Yuma. don't touch me. Don't grab my hand. Not a fan. Uh, hey, you don't have my permission for this, you know. I want to know if Vivia can see Shinigami. That'd be awesome. <sighs> oh, he knows. He's in on it. I see. So. That's the cursed book of death. It's dangerous. Very dangerous. So dangerous, it could destroy Kanai Ward. Or even the world. Oh lord, here he goes! Uh... I must do something. Um, Vivia? I thought we were cool. Don't kill me with a box cutter. Uh, that's horrifying. Don't like that one bit. Oh, hello? Oh, there we go. God, <laughs> they shot him with the fucking gun. That's so good. Uh, health is not gonna be very good. Okay, we'll take an A. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Huge! I would like to proceed. There we go, thank you. I would love to save my progress. Thank you so much for the offer. I would indeed love to save. Anyway, now to defend ourselves against Vivia, I guess. Uh, <laughs> not the twist I was expecting. But he's, he seems to know about, you know, about the book. And what's so dangerous about it? Is it just the mystery labyrinth in general? The power it holds? I don't know. Shinigami, maybe? Is she actually the villain? I wouldn't be terribly surprised, uh, given her demeanor, but, eh, you know. What are you gonna do about it? The past that should have been completely sealed. What the is crime this room? Has been completely sealed. When that gate opens up, the past will have its revenge on the future. Uh oh, I see. Eventually, <laughs> after a restless <laughs> slumber, the end of the world arrives. The end of the world I believed in. We have taken a very dire turn. The Imperfect Insider. Oh, is Vivia a spy? He's a plant?
Hey, Halara. Nothing good over on that end, huh? Oh, does this secret lab actually exist? I've done the legwork. I haven't found a single piece of information. Maybe the anemic vampire was just talking nonsense. Sheesh, I'm starting to get worried. Don't worry. Though I was suspicious at first, I can now say for certain that it does exist. Huh? Why is that? After the incident with the Resistance, former Amaterasu employees have completely vanished from town. Huh, interesting. Perhaps they sensed trouble and went into hiding. Or perhaps they were taken by the peacekeepers. In either case, they could have provided us with valuable information. Without them, we are farther from the truth. However, looking at it another way, it's safe to assume there's someone behind the scenes attempting to conceal the secret lab. Yeah, I mean, of course they're going to try and keep the secret lab secret, right? Like, I, I, I get it. I'm a trusted corporation? No, we're doing it. Who the fuck else would do it, Karumi? Come on. You, step up your game. What do you mean, like, Amaterasu? They're behind literally everything bad happening here. If that's the case, then all our sources of information have been lost. So how do we continue searching for this secret lab? To find what you're looking for, you must first discard all your assumptions. If it's not here, then it must be over there. Remove such thoughts from your head. Once you do that, there is only one thing left to do, and that is the best course of action. Which is... In short, you do everything. You scour it all, one by one. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> That's a rather simple way to view things. Yeah, but, like, is she wrong? If you just look everywhere, you'll find it eventually. That is the way of the detective. The only time things should be flashy is when it comes time for you to die. Well, now, hold on a minute. Wait a second. That's a little much. Uh... Discard all assumptions. All right. Maybe it's somewhere we would least expect it to be. What is it, Kurumi? Did you think of something? Um, do you know about the restricted area on the outskirts of Kanai Ward? No, we've been here like two days at most. Restricted area? Yeah, even the peacekeepers don't go near it. It's completely isolated. Since no one can enter there, I figured there'd be nothing of note in that area. What, what do you mean? That is the most obvious place that they would put a secret lab. It's the place that no one's allowed to go. What are you talking about? That is the first place I would check. In other words, it's the best possible place to hide something, right? Duh! Like, what the, what the fuck? It's super suspicious. But why does a restricted area even exist? Probably to hide the fucking secret lab! No one knows the exact reason why, but there is a rumor. Supposedly, it was a tiny village that was abandoned due to a toxic gas leak from a nearby mine. Ever since then, the whole area has been restricted. Due to toxic gas. However, there are lots of rumors about the restricted area. For example, they even say it's a corpse disposal facility where bodies from Kane Ward are dumped off. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's horrific. Bodies are being dumped there? Jesus. I'm going to assume that's false. Yeah, I, I it hope seems so. To be in the same vein as ghost stories and urban legends. Still. This restricted area is certainly worth looking into. I agree that again, that should have been the first place we went to. Very well, I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. Huh, you will? You're not asking to be paid first? I've taken this job from the World Detective Organization. I'll bill all expenses to them. Isn't that great, Master? You won't go further into debt. I was growing tired of the legwork. Extracting information from people is miserable for me. I, I feel that. I totally sympathize here. Now, however, I do have a, a concern, a question. We we can just we can just build the WDO and they'll just they'll just pay it? Is that how that works? We could just we can just tell them like, hey, here's how much you owe me, and they're like, okay. 
rights check. Here you go. Because, brother, I'm just saying, Yuma, there's a quick way out of our debt, all right? Like, there's a real snappy way to get out of this debt. And then even the little bonus for us, you know what I mean? I'll handle the restricted area. You take over the legwork. Keep asking around for more information. But I want to go to the restricted area. That sounds really cool. Now that that's taken care of, let's be quick. I won't allow time to be wasted. Um, stay safe. You as well. Alara is so cool. Such an awesome detective. Pretty, pretty true. Pretty fair. Hey, master, Little weird at times. The blatty swooning. Alara's gonna steal your girl. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I can't blame her for admiring Halara. I'll admit, I have nothing to offer. Halara outshines me in every way. Wrong attitude, Yuma. Wrong attitude. Nah, nah, nah. You're never going to win that way. No, nah. You can't. You can't just roll over and admit defeat. You got to try anyway, right? You got to you gotta talk yourself up. Why do you sound so proud? Yuma, let's keep up the legwork. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Why later, did you kid. Stop all of a sudden? That man just now. Man? That that person was shorter than you, Yuma. You know him? They had to have been Is a kid. A peacekeeper? Unless they were just a, a very short individual. Yuma's been the shortest person we've seen yet. No, that's not quite it. Last time I saw him, he fled after seeing my face. Huh? Why? I think the first time I saw him was back when I arrived in the city. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yet it seems like he knows me. Otherwise, that reaction back then wouldn't make sense. Could he have something to do with my past? Kurumi, please wait right here. I'm going to chase after him. Huh? Wait! I'll go too! Yeah, honestly, I don't think we should leave Kurumi behind. She should probably come along. Maybe we don't split up there when the police are after us at all times. Okay, no, maybe is that him right there with the the mark on the Does back of his he jacket? Work at the stand? Hey, you open today? <laughs> Why do they gotta make this guy look like this? What the hell? Yes, welcome. Why does he have to look like what is happening? Are these real I people? I'm sure if I liked your ramen at first. But it's strangely addictive. Uh <laughs> Thank you. It's all due to my research of people's preferences in this city. Oh, so you're working hard then. Yeah, I felt confident about the flavor, but no one was willing to try it at first. So then I tried copying those popular meat buns, but people saw right through it. Less and less customers came by. But after some self-reflection and some research, I've finally gotten it to where it is now. So the secret ingredients to your success are hard work and sweat. That's very kind of you. It's my pleasure. You might even get more popular than those meat buns. Eating the ramen here fills me with joy. Thank you. What is this? It's just a conversation with the customer at a ramen place. Doesn't seem that suspicious. Yeah, like, what is this fucking NPC-ass conversation? This is the shit I'd hear as I'm walking down the street and, like, I don't know, any RPG ever. Yeah. Shinigami, does that guy look familiar to you? I feel like he has something to do with my past. How the fuck is she supposed to know? She can't talk nope. about it. Don't know him. Really? I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'll do a handstand while naked. You're practically naked already. Kurumi, sorry for making you come with me. Looks like I was mistaken. But if there's something you want to know, maybe you should ask directly. You might find something out. No, I think I'm okay. Don't want to get in the way of his business. Anyway, let's continue with the legwork. Well, if you're okay with it, Yuma. All right, let's do this. Time to ask around about this secret lab. Let's go! Oh, so our plan is to just ask random strangers, hey, do you know anything about a secret lab? And assume that they're going to be like, yeah, here's what I know. Like, anyone who knows anything about the secret lab is not going to fucking say anything, All right? right? Time to do some legwork. 
Perfect. Oh, God bless her. So many people to talk to. Well, let's start with this guy in the sewers. Assuming I can actually fucking go down there. Uh, oh, there you go. It's like, uh, hello? Is this a ghost? Hey, guess what? Huh? What? I just heard the most amazing rumor. Huh? Huh? Would it happen to be about a secret lab? What's that? No, I heard the lady down the block is cheating on her husband. Isn't that so interesting? Not really. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of this. There's going to be a lot of those types of rumors. What the fuck is this? Why are these pipes like this? These pipes are everywhere you look in this city. I'm sure. I guess all these pipes are necessary, given how much drainage is needed for the endless rain. Yeah, but they could have maybe not structured them like it's the fucking Windows wallpaper and literally blocking off passages. Like, come on. We could have done a little bit better than this. It sure ain't easy watching over some rookie detective. You don't have any rebuttal, Yuma? I was like, ah, surely he'll say something. Hmm? What is it? Uh, um. Um. Don't talk to me. I'll kick your ass. What the fuck, guy? Wait, wait, who acts like this? Uh, huh? Oh, no. We better not talk to this guy. <laughs> he said he'll kick our ass, Yuma. I forgot about this guy down here. Just he. <laughs> Cause he just lays in the fucking sewer. What a goober. Um, excuse me. I'd like to ask you something. Have you heard about a secret lab? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Or maybe not. Hey. Does anything come to mind? Anything at all? Uh, I think I saw a movie once with a similar title. It was a comedy about stupid scientific experiments. Which, of course, is totally unrelated. You're actually doing the lab work. Oh, she's fighting the thing up there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go get him. Get him. Fuck him up. I was like, why'd you just stop her dialogue just randomly? It's like, you know what? I've decided I don't want this. I don't want to say this sentence anymore. I've given it up. I've abandoned it. Uh, um. Er, excuse me. May I ask you something? Of course. I hope I can be of assistance. And that's what happened. Do you know anything about the secret lab? The secret lab? I'm sorry, but I don't think I've heard of it before. I see. Thank you very much. Honestly, a much better reaction than I was expecting. I'll be real, you walk up to me on the middle of the street and you go, Hey, full on, tell me what you know about the secret lab. I'm gonna be like, guy, don't talk to me. I'll probably not even answer, truthfully. Uh, I would just keep walking and ignore your existence and be like, I don't want to get involved with that. No shot. No way. You need something from me? Um, um do you know anything about a secret lab? Beats me. Doesn't ring a bell. Thank you very much. I see. Thank you. Wow, no one knows anything. Who would have thought? Oh, anything cool? Oh, we're we'll again with the parkour. Dr. Huesca. Who is this? He walks around barefoot in the lab. This isn't for anything health related. He simply feels the time spent putting on shoes and socks is better used on research. Why wear any clothes then? At that point. Really? Like, why Why do anything? Why eat? Why bathe? Like, that's ridiculous. Put on your fucking shoes, you weirdo. I guess talking to people around town doesn't yield much info. We've been walking since the morning. I'm so tired. Me too. My legs are so stiff. You don't have legs. But you're flying. It's about to get dark, so... Let's just call it a day and return to the agency. Wait, are you sure? Huh? There's no need to be polite, if that's your intention. What? There's still one more place to go, right? Where's that? The place with that masked guy. Isn't he the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? What, you're just gonna- what, we're gonna walk into his fucking house? At the top of the tower. 
How are we gonna get in there, Karumi? Maybe you'll find the answer if you ask him. That's what you were thinking too, right, Yuma? You know, I wasn't thinking that, but honestly, I should have been thinking that. That's a great line of thinking. He did say to just ask him for help if we needed it. We need help. Why not, right? Like. Or were you thinking of not bringing me with you because it's too dangerous? You are you are jumping to so many conclusions. This is like an Olympic level feat. What do you mean? I wasn't even considering the angle. And you're like, mm, it's because I'm here, isn't it? Like, no. <laughs> I'm the city's best informant. I know my way around dangerous stuff. Are, are you good? What's going on here? No, I'm not avoiding him for your sake, Kurumi. Personally, I don't know if he can be trusted. I think it's best we don't get involved with him. I would absolutely go ask him. Why not? Fuck it. I agree. Master, even though you always rely on others, we should avoid that guy. But do you really need to trust someone to get information out of them? I, like no but hear me out if if I, so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and make my intentions clear i think makoto is on our side maybe not directly on our side but this is like an enemy of my enemy situation right i i imagine from the information that's been presented the peacekeepers have gathered a bunch of power in amaterasu right and they're kind of running the show right now and the ceo makoto he doesn't like that but he can't just kick him out right so he's trying to find ways to to fight back to to either push the, the peacekeepers out or change their leadership get it get get kanai ward back to like a, a normal status quo right because amazurasu ultimately is just a company right so and he seemed he, at least he says he cares about the city so if that's true then sick so I, I personally think that we could just go ask him and it'd be fine. Um, but I, it, if we didn't trust Makoto, let's say we didn't trust Makoto. We think he's not, you know, he, he's going to work against us, right? Not our friend, not a good guy, not anyone we want anything to do with. We wouldn't want to ask him because then if he's working against us, now he knows we're looking for the secret lab. Right? Like, that's kind of our one big advantage right now is that the peacekeepers, in theory, don't really know what we're doing. We're just kind of doing things and being annoying. You need to be bold enough to use people to get the info you need. Don't say it like that. That's really weird. Well, that's what my grandpa used to say anyway. It's worth the shot, don't you think? Be bold enough to use people? Maybe that applies to detectives as well. Kurumi, you're more fit to be a detective than I am. That's not true. I'm just an informant. Also, I don't want to return to the agency empty-handed. Let's do as much as we can now. Yeah, let's go! Yeah, let's go. Aww, I already warned you, but it looks like you made up your mind. It's gonna be fine. It's the gonna be so fine. The master Kagutsuchi lives on the top floor of Kanai Tower. How are we gonna get in there, though? I hope I can get to him without any issues. Like, do we just walk up to the fucking elevator and go top floor and it just takes us? That seems ridiculous, right? Surely there's some sort of like security measure in place to stop people from being able to just, I don't know, waltz right up to the CEO of Amaterasu's home. I just feel like that's something they would implement. Also, I forgot that I could just, oh no, there are side quests to do. All right, no, 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 no. Before we do that, we gotta... We're gonna start with the church again, just in case it's another run around and talk to everyone sort of deal, right? Because I imagine that's probably what it's gonna be. It's gonna be, again, go talk to one person in every single place and you gotta, gotta answer their riddles three to make them happy. And then we'll be good. Or it could be something completely unrelated, who knows? But it looks like it's the nun since the question mark is standing right in front of the church. So I'm gonna have to imagine that's what we're doing here. Yep, who would have thought? Yeah. He came right on time. Huh? Huh? Right on time? What is it? You. Remember the last time you ran around and, cons and consoled people? Yes. Consoled? Consoled? I don't know. Y yeah, I thought they were all satisfied. Yeah. That's not enough. Huh? Uh, huh? Hmm. 
That just isn't enough. Not enough to replace the priest, that is. Oh no. What are you saying? It's not like I'm a pro or anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So what you're saying is you'll do even better next time, correct? No way. You don't mean... Yeah. Time to give out advice. Better than before, right? <laughs> mm, nah, I'm not feeling it. All right. But this time it's not my fault, no matter what happens. Huh? Fine, but be prepared for the consequences if you mess up. Now get going. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. Well, where are we going? Um, okay, there's one in Kanai Tower. So let's just go there, I guess? I was hoping it would show me all of them, but it does not seem to be the case. And I don't want to grab a, like all the side quests at once, and then I'm gonna like get the lose track of them. It's gonna be it's gonna be like a whole thing, right? So we'll do this one, and if it brings us to a location with a side quest, we'll grab that one. Whoa, you really appreciate how massive it is up close. Like words don't do it justice. Yeah, it's a big fucking tower. Who would have thought? say or not to say that is the question um excuse me is something on your mind yes but who are you and that's what happened the nun at the church asked me to go around and listen to everyone's troubles if you'd like maybe i can offer you some advice i see that would be great actually i'll get straight to the point i'm in love i see Love, huh? Yes, those graceful hands and feet, those wavy locks, those eyes of ennui, and porcelain skin. All right, this is a very strange guy. I don't like this. It was love at first sight. It was over for me the moment I saw him. I see. I see. I can picture him now under the piano. Oh, I, this is me. That's me right there. I'm worried, man. This is actually me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> under the piano. Just thinking about it makes my heart ache. Hmm? Under the piano? Do you mean the piano at the hotel over in Kamasaki District? Oh, uh, don't worry about that. We'll handle it later. That's the one. You're... My rival for his affection? No. No, nothing like that. I know Vivia because we work together. Vivia, so that's his name. So lovely and ephemeral. Quite fitting. Hmm. This guy really seems to like Vivia. I'd like to help him, but... You said you're a colleague of Vivia, right? Then you must know what kinds of things he likes. I want to tell him how I feel and give him a present. And naturally, it should be something he'd like. I see. Hmm, let's see. Uh, give him a fireplace. <laughs> Some jewels is, is lame. A fireplace is really, really funny. But like, obviously, he the boy loves to read. So give him like a book. In that case, I think Vivia would be happy to receive a book as a present. A book! That'd be perfect for him! I could get him... Oh, did... <laughs> Is it omelette? <laughs> no, Muskbeth must be better. <laughs> Omele? I don't know what... I don't know titles of books, man. I don't read. I'm dumb as hell. You've been a great help. I'll get my present ready and go tell him how I feel. No. And no problem. I hope things go well. These sorts of things are never easy, but I won't give up. Thanks again. Oh, let's go. I don't know if Vivi is going to reciprocate your feelings, my friend, but I wish nothing but the best for you. Also, there's a side quest in Marunamon, which I believe is currently flooded. And so are we going to hop in the boat and like, what are we going to pull someone out of the water? What is, what are we doing here? Any, anything good here? Oh, Amaterasu's latest products. A drone car that will aut autonomously deliver you from departure to tomorrow. 
I mean, a drone car sounds pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm into that. I'm all about self-driving cars. I think that'll be super cool when they like get better. Hey, you, you came to see her too, right? Huh? Huh? Um, who are you talking about? I'm talking about that mega cute waitress. She's something of a legend around here. She has such a graceful air about her. Her voluptuous body can't be concealed by her uniform. That's so fucking creepy, dude. I hate it. I hate that I had to read that sentence. Oh my God. She talks like she might be a bit of an airhead. Oh my God. Her radiant smile purifies the soul. The coffee she brews is hot, bitter, and thick. Maybe. Is he talking about Fubuki? You think so too, right? Huh? Uh, well, uh, right, right. I, I knew you and I were kindred spirits. No. Well, no, that's not, but I won't accept you so easily. The strength of your conviction must be tested. Huh? Uh huh? <sighs> uh, good luck with that, master. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> hey. hey. Question one, I'll start with something easy. Was she wearing her hair tied back? Uh, uh, um. Fubuki's hair was tied back, I believe. She normally has it in like the braid, right? So tied back. That's true. Her hair was tied back, I think. Correct, that was too easy, huh? Time for question two. This one's not too tough either. How many piercings does she have in her right ear? What the fuck? I have no fucking huh? clue. Piercings? Um. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I, I'll be real. I got no fucking clue. I'm gonna go with two. Sorry, wrong answer. She has three piercings in her right ear. <laughs> Damn, I got it wrong. Two are blue and one is gold. You need to you need to dig deep into those memory banks. Bro, this guy is hella creepy. <laughs> There's no way I can accept you as a kindred spirit if you can't even answer the simplest questions. Study her greatness, then return to me. <sighs> Forgive me, Fubuki. I'll try again once I'm ready. Is she still hanging out here? Like, what? Hmm. My place is among the gentry, so these don't suit my palate. I don't know where Fubuki is. How am I supposed to go? I, I, I'm honestly about to like pull up a fucking picture of her on my phone here in a moment. It's you. Are you ready to take my quiz again? Uh, oh, what to do? Now let's take it on. Yes. Okay, I'm ready. You seem prepared. Let's begin. Question one. I'll start with something easy. Was she wearing her? Okay, it's the same same uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was indeed tied back. That's true. All right, three piercings, two are blue, one's gold. So simple. It's so uh, easy. How many piercings does she have again? Correct, she has three piercings in her right ear. All right. Incidentally, her left ear has three gold piercings and one pink one for a grand total of four piercings. On to question three. Yes. All right, let, let's do this. What is her name? <laughs> Bro, he doesn't hmm? even know. Huh? What do you think? It's a tough one, right? Uh... Um... I mean, Master Detective Fubuki is pretty good. I'm gonna just go with Fubuki. Uh, how did you know that? I didn't even know until recently. Sh sure. I don't think I should tell him we work together. But it's not over yet. Here's the final task. Bring me something that would make her, make Fubuki happy. If you can do that, I'll accept you into the club. Bro, we are getting so used. Uh, like, we'd even want to be part of that club. 
<laughs> I don't know how to snore, man. Is that how snores sound? I have no idea. So, will you do it? Uh, I... Let's do it. Fuck it. Why not? Yes. Fine. I accept your challenge. You've got guts, but I wonder if you know the answer. Well? Do you? Of course. I know exactly what she wants. I heard it myself, after all. <sighs> Why is he trying to make that sound like a big deal? Go on now. Say. Do you have any ideas, Master? You know... I noticed this when we were going through the mystery labyrinth with Fubuki during that case, but... Fubuki really likes stuff you might find it in an RPG! That's very true! But... Where would you find something like that? If... Hamasaki District has all kinds of shops, so maybe we'll find something there? Her name is Fubuki the Legendary Waitress. Where's the next damn? It's at the academy. I, I thought this was the next church person, but we gotta go to the academy for the, the church person. All right, I'm gonna do that before we continue the Fubuki side quest, all right? She do love her RPG titles. That's very true. I mean, uh, it makes sense. If she was cooped up in her house all the time, her only method to escape RPGs would be a great way to do that, right? I, as someone who coops up in their house by choice, would never escape using RPGs. That does not sound like me at all, even a little. <sighs> what a mess. Um, um, if something's worrying you, I'd be happy to listen. You're... Oh, you're from the church. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's me. I guess I don't need to explain why I'm doing this anymore. Uh, so, what's worrying you? Well, there's this guy who's been hitting on me non-stop lately. I've turned him down multiple times, but he just can't take the hint. It's stressing me out. I just don't know what to do. I see. Can you give me a description of the person? Sure, he was on the shorter side, but chock full of confidence. Mm -hmm. hmm? That sounds kind of familiar. He was also carrying this huge backpack. He might not be so bad if he wasn't lugging that thing around. I knew it. She must be talking about Desuhiko. Come on. God, that shorty detective was hitting on girls instead of investigating? No mercy for slackers. What do you think I should do? Sh sure. Let's see. <laughs> Why not? You know what? Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Um. I, I've got this. Don't go out with him. Don't keep rejecting him. Just leave that to me. Um, leave it to me. To you? What do you intend to do? Uh, it's a bit awkward to admit, but the person hitting on you is... S sorry. Someone I work with. Huh? That's why. I'll tell him to stop bothering you. I see. Thank you. Um, good luck? No. It's nothing. I'm sorry you've had to deal with this. <sighs> Looks like I managed to solve her problem. <laughs> and in exchange, you've given yourself a brand new one. Do I have to actually go talk to Desuhiko? That would be really funny. That would be really funny. All right. Clock tower time. I didn't like how Kurumi was just spinning <laughs> right there. <laughs> She wasn't, like, actually turning or anything, just spinning on point. <laughs> like she was on a fucking, on a, on a rotating disc on a Lazy Susan. It was kind of freaking me out. So we don't want to go to the question mark. We want to go to this person. And help them with their woes. Who are you? Hello. Uh, what do I do? Um, um, if you're worried about something, I could lend an ear. Uh, who are you? And that's what happened. The nun asked me to go around and listen to everyone's troubles. Then, can I ask you to listen to my problem? I work at a cafe, but I just can't seem to interact well with the customers. As soon as I'm in front of someone, I get so nervous that my words won't come out. I see. Hmm, sort of like what's happening now. 
I want to be able to talk to people with ease, just like she did. Hmm? She? She was only there for a day, but she was so beautiful and sociable. Maybe. Could she be talking about Fubuki? When I asked her for advice, she told me I had to defeat the evil gods. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Absolutely, that's Fubuki. I knew it. Definitely Fubuki. But I don't even know what evil gods are. And how is it related to serving customers? What should I do? Uh... Well, <laughs> let's search for the evil gods. <laughs> Let's forget about evil gods. Um, that might be a little much. Well, evil gods don't exist, so you can forget about that. But I won't be able to get over my nervousness, and I still won't be able to serve people. Speaking of which... Right, that wouldn't solve the actual problem, would it? I'm sorry for bringing up such a silly problem. I'll try my best to improve on my own. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be a more help. Damn it, was it supposed to be just leave it as it is? Fuck, yeah. maybe we needed to go look for the evil gods. That should be enough for now. Let's head back to the nun. Fuck, the nun's gonna chew me out, dude. God damn it, whatever. We tried, we tried our best. I'm not good at giving advice, all right? Don't ever listen to me. I'm, oh, excuse me, had a terrible burp in the moment there. I give terrible advice. Why on earth I'm the one being tasked to do this? Who knows? Why don't you do it, nun? Why does it have to be me? What do you do here, nun? What is it that you do at the church except tell me to go do your job? Uh, hmm? Who's that with the nun? Hey. In other words, it ain't your fault, but if you keep whining like this, Kill your ass in the name of God. There you go. There you go. Okay, this is why the nun doesn't uh, do this is because she just tells people she's gonna kill their ass in the name of God. Yeah. Um. What was that just now? Huh? Whoa! Back already? Keeping's a bad habit, you know. So. Can't just force all the work on you, can I? So I also tried listening to some folks. Wow, that's great. That person just now looked real, just now looked really happy. Huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> I could see the relief on his face. Like all his worries had evaporated. He kept thanking you over and over. I'm sure. I think he was happy to have someone so friendly and approachable to talk with. I knew it. You're kind of foul mouthed for a nun, but you're also incredibly kind. Don't make me kill your ass. Shut up! I'm busy now. Later. Oh, it locks the oh. church. Her face went bright red and she ran off. Yeah. As long as she's around, I think the church will be just fine. She's compassionate and the locals really trust her. That's great. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad we were able to help out. Let's go! Happy ending! <sighs> Didn't get chewed out for fucking up the last one. Easy. Anyway, this is a great time to call the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you look down in the description, you'll find a link to the official store page. You can get the game for yourself if you want to do so. If you made it this far with me, I really, truly appreciate you being here. And I hope you have a great rest of your day or your night or whatever time it is. And I'll see you again next time. Good. Bye.